Okay, hello everyone. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. We know that families are getting into the swing of a new normal back in school um, or are juggling all of this end of summer activities while preparing for the school year. So we especially appreciate you taking the time to take a little bit, to talk a little bit about childhood nutrition with us tonight. If you're joining us on Zoom, please find the chat feature and drop your name and the person who invited you in the chat so we know to send you a copy of our sample um, healthy kids lunches and a free healthy living cookbook for the fam and if you're joining us here live on facebook just drop your favorite fruit or veggie emoji in the comments so we can do the same for you okay let's jump right in and talk about the status of health for our youth um, across the country right now it's not a super pleasant picture it is widely believed now that our children are part of the first generation of americans to not outlive their parents this is a big big deal more and more children are showing signs of pre-cardiovascular disease as young as 10 years of age, which should not come as much of a surprise when we recognize that the most common cause of death for adults in the U.S. is cardiovascular disease. The rate at which children are walking into the doctor's office pre-diabetic and with full-blown type 2 diabetes has become a growing cause of concern. By the time we are entering into adulthood today, we are already predisposed to an array of chronic diseases because of the way that we have been treating and feeding our bodies since we were children, and sometimes because of genetics that weren't mitigated like they could have been with a healthy lifestyle. And that's the path our children are heading down if we don't take on a major shift in the way that we feed ourselves and our families. The CDC predicts that 80% of heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and 40% of all cancer-related deaths could be prevented with simple lifestyle changes beginning at childhood. Now that sounds super bleak, but what I want you all to understand is that there's a really clear reason why this is happening to our loved ones, and we have some really simple solutions to offer here. So first, you must understand that we do not have a calorie deficient society here in America. We have a nutrient deficient society. Simply put, we are not getting enough quality fruits and vegetables into our bodies and into the bodies of our little ones. And that poses a major, more immediate problem for families as we enter the season of school germs and prep for cold and flu months ahead, because the link here with illness, whether it's cold and flu, all the way through chronic hypertension is proper nutrition. So when our little ones aren't getting adequate amounts of quality produce in their bodies, their immune systems suffer. And when their immune systems suffer, they miss days at school, they make more frequent visits to the doctor, they end up on antibiotics, and we as parents miss days at work, our productivity goes down, and sometimes then we end up sick too, right? The financial burden alone for a child getting sick, making doctor's visits, buying medication, etc., can cost hundreds of dollars every time one of our little ones comes down with something. It costs more to get sick than it does to invest in prevention period. Too often, I believe, in our society, we tell each other that it's normal for our kids to be sick all fall and winter, that it's normal for our little ones to catch every little bug when they enter daycare, preschool, or kindergarten for the first time. But it really doesn't have to be that way, and it should not be that way. So let's talk produce. <laughs> in a world where there's lots of chaos and confusion and tension around what diet is best, I find that one thing we can all agree on is that eating more fruits and veggies is good for us and that we probably don't get enough of them on a regular basis. And we are all right about that. The research tells us that too. But I don't think most people realize how many fruits and veggies they're supposed to be getting and to what extent coming up short is impacting our health. I want you to hold up your fist for a second. This is one serving size of fruits and veggies. And I want you to think about how many fruits and how many serving size, si the size of your fist in fruits and vegetables you eat on an average day. How many do your kids eat? The average answer we tend to get is anywhere between one and four. So if you're in that range, you're totally normal, but do you know how many you're supposed to be getting? The answer is nine to 13 servings. You're supposed to be getting nine to 13 servings of fruits and veggies the size of your fist literally every day. And this isn't a figure we have come up with ourselves. Take a look at the most recent USDA guidelines, which is very heavily influenced by the meat and dairy industries. And even they are telling us that we should be getting seven to 13, sorry, excuse me, nine to 13 servings and that and that more is even better. And when you're getting this kind of produce in, there's a compounding effect of good things. But when you're not, there's a compounding effect of not so good things that Rachel talked about earlier, including poor immune system functioning, <laughs> which we all need during the school season. So you might be wondering why the number is so high. Among other factors, it's because of the nutrient deficient produce we're eating today. When you go to the grocery store and see rock hard avocados or green bananas, 
that produce is telling you it was picked way too early and wasn't able to develop all of its micronutrients. On top of that, it's been shipped hundreds of miles and every day it spends off the vine, it's losing nutrition. Just think about this. To get the same amount of vitamin C as one orange 50 years ago, we have to eat five oranges today. This really helped me to understand the gap in my nutrition that needed to be bridged. Rachel and I have found a pretty incredible and easy button to solve this problem. We are mamas, we are busy, we have little ones with minds of their own. <laughs> and while we are mainly plant-based and, and health conscious women, we come up short too. We've discovered our easy button when we've discovered this really amazing when we discovered this really amazing company called Juice Plus, which 25 years ago figured out how to create concentrated fruit and vegetable powders and put them into a capsule. Now, the moment I say the word capsule, people's brains immediately jump into supplements and vitamins. So I'm gonna reel you in for a little bit <laughs> and let you know that even though this comes into a in a capsule, it's not a vitamin and it's not a supplement. On the back of our, our label, it says nutrition facts. If you were gonna go into your supplement cabinet and get out your multivitamin, it's gonna say supplement facts, and that's because it's synthetic. It's isolated and fragmented. It's a supplement. Nutrition, nutrition fact labels are for, are for food products only. For example, if you go get a bag of frozen broccoli, it's gonna have a nutrition label too. So even though this comes in a capsule, it's just fruits and vegetables. Think salad bar in a capsule. They have fruit, veggie, and berry blends. The Juice Plus company works with small to mid-sized family farms all over North America. They grow the produce where it grows best. They actually let it vine ripen, which is super, super important. The fruits and vegetables are then ground up, which is actually better than juicing because they use the entire whole food, including peels, leaves, and seeds whenever possible, which provides way more nutrition. In an orange, for example, many of you might know this, up to 80% of the vitamin C is found in the peel. It is then dried at low temperatures to preserve the live nutrients and enzymes, and then put into capsules and yummy chewables for kids. And it is scientifically proven to do what we know fruits and vegetables do for us. These plant powders are the most researched nutritional product in the world with close to 40 published studies in peer reviewed medical journals done by some of the most prestigious labs across the globe like Harvard, Cambridge. These studies have proven time and again that these plant powders strengthen immune system functioning, reduce inflammation, which is a major factor in over 90% of all illness, repairs DNA, and that by simply getting more nutrient dense fruits and vegetables into your body, you can change the expression of your genes. You can change the expression of your kids' genes. And that's just the short list. It's super, super incredible. When I was introduced to Juice Plus, the research is what sold me. I'm a mom to two boys. When we said yes to Juice Plus a couple of years ago, my four-year-old, who was then almost two, was only consuming vegetables by eating veggie chips and drinking naked juice. I had completely given up on the broccoli battle with him because it always landed up on the floor, and I felt a tremendous amount of guilt about it. Here was a plant-based mama, and I could not get my little one to eat a vegetable to save my life. It was about six months into flooding his little body with over 30 vine-ripened fruits and vegetables through these yummy little gummies that I started seeing some really incredible changes. Odie's gut was speaking to his brain. It was working. All of the plants that he'd been digesting uh, through the gummies were changing his palate. He wanted to eat fresh raw lettuce. He wanted different colored carrots for breakfast. He was asking for things like spinach and bell peppers and sugar snap peas at the dinner table. It is no longer a fight for us. The vegetables are no longer on the floor and the naked juices and veggie chips have slowly disappeared from our house. When we discovered Juice Plus, we had just come out of a winter that had Otis in the doctor's office five or six times with three different prescriptions for medication. This is what I'm talking about when like, like, I feel like so many families think this is normal, right? So many people can relate to this. I, do, I was digging into sick days that I didn't have at my new job to be home with him. He was new to daycare and he was sick all the time. Sounds familiar, right? I thought it was normal. They all go through it, we are told. Well, I'm telling you, it does not have to be that way. My second boy, Avery, who's a year and a half now, never went through it. He doesn't nurse more than Otis did. He goes to the same daycare Otis did. He comes in contact with the preschool germs that Otis comes home with. And until a month ago, he did not even know what a sick visit to the doctor was. And that's because I've been adding 45 different plants to my diet every day since the day he was conceived. And he's been getting that nutrition in his food through my milk, his baby food, and the gummies that he eats today. So I'm gonna hand it over to Chelsea because I know she has a wonderful story to share around how this easy button has helped her and her family's health. Thanks so much, Rach. 
So up until the past year and a half, our family has had quite a colorful history, um, health history. I'll begin with my daughter, who's almost five. She, since she was little, has struggled with respiratory infections most of her very young life. She and my husband both had RSV two winters ago, croup, chronic, and a chronic cough that doctor, with a whole plethora of doctors, doctor's visits, antibiotics, and steroids. Wow, my tongue twister today, huh? <laughs> so the great thing is, is you know, she has, hasn't seen the doctor since last January, other than for her annual well visit where her lungs sounded clear and great. Other than that, she, she hasn't missed a single day of school due to being sick, which meant that she stayed away from both antibiotics and steroids. That was huge for our family. We had to deal with her being sick quite often with her respiratory stuff. And not only would it get stuck in her lungs, but it also sometimes go to her ears, which is more in line with the story of my son, who is now two years old. So he tended to catch everything that she brought home from preschool the previous winter as well. His infections always exploded directly into his ears and they would either become so bad that his eardrums ruptured twice it was so painful for the little guy. And he's been on antibiotics more times than I would like to admit in that, that short window of like six months. So due to the amount of ear infections that he had, we were eventually referred to an ENT who strongly recommended that we do tubes. When the ENT saw him, she also said that he had yet another ear infection. That would have been, that was his fifth in six months. It was too many, way too many. And, he's, and she said that he would likely need antibiotics in the next couple of days. But I continued to blast him with these plant powders that we've been telling you about, and he fought the infection without any drugs, went into his, um, hit to have his tubes put into his ears, and bounced back so quickly. I was amazed. He came out from, <laughs> I was thinking we would come home and we'd have a lazy day at home, and he'd just relax with me and take lots of naps. No, the kid started walking that day. He was not walking before that. He literally bounced back so quickly because he was, his inflammation was down. His system was able to take on everything that just happened with that small surgery. And then he found his equilibrium again because he could probably hear and feel balanced. So he was able to walk. It was pretty amazing. And we are definitely sold for life. We don't see the doctor very often other than Wells visits and it's amazing. So whether or not you're interested in the solution that we found, we just want to leave you armed with the knowledge that you and your kids need to be eating more plants than they probably are. That the produce you're picking up at the grocery store may not be the quality you think it is. And that these daily habits matter big time, both for short-term and long-term health. And now is a great time to be making these shifts as the kids go back to school and we gear up for the cold and flu season around the corner. Before we leave you though, we wanna share a bit about our Health, Healthy Starts for Families program, which is the largest running children's health study of, of its kind on the planet with over 1 million families currently participating. The results of this ongoing study are amazing. 60% of the, of the participating children reported missing fewer days at school. 66% reported fewer visits to the doctor. 56% are taking fewer over-the-counter and prescription drugs. 71% are consuming less fast food and soft drinks. The same percentage are drinking more water. And 61% of these kids are report, reporting to be eating more fruits and vegetables on a daily basis. Juice Plus designed this Healthy Starts Wellness Initiative to inspire healthy living at home and, and to empower families to make simple but meaningful lifestyle changes that will propel them forward on their journey to better health. We provide support, recipes, content, and tips to help you focus on four core pillars of wellness, fitness, nutrition, hydration, and sleep. We, and we are documenting the lasting positive effects of the changes that your kids are making. Qualifying customers for the Healthy Starts for Families program will receive free Yes, I said free capsules or chewables for their child for up to four years. Children ages four through full-time college students are eligible. And all we ask the sponsor to do is participate in this health journey alongside your child by becoming a customer and then sending back a yearly survey so we can track your kiddo's progress.
Now we mean what we said when we told you that we don't care if our easy button is your easy button, but we do want you to have the resources you need to build healthy habits for your little ones this year. So we have partnered with the Healthy Living Revolution, a community of thousands of others on a mission to inspire healthy living around the world, to provide you with an awesome library of free resources to help you and your family stay healthy this year and create lifelong healthy habits. We have tons of education, webinars conducted by leaders in the world of preventive health, family nutrition guides, family exercise support free workouts cookbooks and so much more ask the person who invited you to this webinar to share those resources with you or simply visit healthylivingrevolution.com thanks again for tuning in everyone we hope that you're walking away with some new knowledge um, and that you share because you care about what you've learned with someone that you love okay good night everybody and go eat your vegetables